I don't have too much family than my three siblings. My older sister, my only brother, and the younger sister. We were a happy family, though there was no one working at home. We only survived from my younger sister's children's social ground. Sometimes I would go to the northern suburbs with my friends, asking for something to eat and money. My mother would sit me down and say, Mdwana wa mdingonela ube umzegelo o mshlenjengi nkosa zana, ukolo utando nintlo nipo zibezi zikobo zaku. I still remember her voice, as it was bold and clear. Mama didn't like the fact that I was a beggar, but she had no choice, because she couldn't work as she was very sick. I felt very proud of myself for bringing food home, and I really didn't understand why my mom didn't feel proud of that too. My dad got a job, but then I stopped begging, and things became better. We received a residential development project house in Philippi. My mom's health improved, and she got a job as a cleaner. I felt it like it was a new beginning for me. 22nd of June, 2008, when I was 16 years old. It was a warm Sunday evening. Two strange men came in our house and pretended as if they were getting lost. One had a piece of paper in his hand. It had my mom's cell number and home address written on it. The other one asked for bathroom then came in with a gun, shooting at my cousin brother. I ran to the door with my sister's three-year-old son. As I was running, I noticed that I had wet myself. I heard the gun went on and on, shooting. Then I knew my mom was dead, but my cousin brother survived. Life started to be more difficult because my dad became an alcoholic. I struggled to focus at school. I kept on thinking of what happened. My dad had to go in to Eastern Cape with my sisters, so they left me with my brother. In 2013, July, I received bad news that my father slept and never woke up in the morning. That was just another storm in my life. I had a lot of different friends. Some were negative, and I would find myself getting tempted to do things they did. But I remembered... Mdwana wa mdingonela ube ngumzegelo o mshlenje ngenkosa zana ukolo utando nentlo nipo zibezi zikobo zaako. I decided to create change in my community and be the role model to the young girls. It hurts me a lot to see my age group not respecting their mothers. They had no idea how precious it is to have a mother. My art was the only thing that was healing my soul, mostly my poetry. Now I am very proud to be the person I am today because of the hard decisions I had to make when I was young. My parents always wanted me to be the black princess and made them proud. Though I was not, it was not easy growing up without a mother. I tried my best and I am proud of who I am. I rise.